Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Eugenia Kim. I am one of the TFs for Computer Science E1. Welcome to our video of the week on desktop firewalls. While surfing the internet, you may have bumped into a firewall and been prevented from accessing a certain source, or found that your computer had a firewall turned on, thus blocking others from your computer. You may also have heard of attacks on firewalls, or the need to have one turned on at all times, or found them to be more of a nuisance than a help. Well, all that a firewall is, is a piece of security software or hardware that is configured to control network traffic in some way. It is based off the concept of a physical firewall in buildings. Typically, it filters data between networks or computers with varying levels of trust. For networks, the firewall is usually a dedicated device or computer monitoring and intercepting traffic between networks. For the average home user, a firewall will be a piece of software doing the same activities for just one computer. Ideally, having a firewall enabled will guard you against unauthorized access by other humans and software. For example, worms tend to roam through a network trying to get access to different computers and sometimes attacking certain files on the machine. A firewall would possibly block a worm from getting into a computer if configured properly. It might also identify when an email has a malicious attachment or warn you if it detects something trying to get access to your computer. Sometimes the firewall gets confused, though, and may falsely identify something as being malicious, when it's actually nothing at all. Or it may miss something that turns out to be a problem. Thus, sometimes you must act as your own human firewall in addition to the one on your computer. Basically, the worst case scenario is that without a firewall, a program or human can enter your computer via a port, access files, modify settings, and even take over the machine and make it do certain tasks such as sending out spam. So then you might ask, how might you enable your firewall? Well, to turn it on in Windows XP, go to the Start menu, and then go to Settings, Control Panel, and then Windows Firewall. Double-click and open the panel. Click the On option to enable the firewall. On the other tabs are options for customizing your firewall, letting you choose what sorts of traffic to allow and what should happen. Other common firewalls are typically found as part of security packages released by companies such as McAfee, Norton slash Symantec, Zone Alarm, etc. Interesting features include Norton's Personal Firewalls Ad Blocker, which will rewrite the HTML that the page with ads has, thus preventing it from being displayed. Zone Alarm releases both a free and full-featured program that you have to pay for, the latter also giving you the option to block cookies and detect adware. Well, that's all for tonight. Thank you for watching our video of the week.